My name's Ben Armstrong. I'm the oldest half of the Armstrong Brothers Band for which this YouTube channel was named. Unfortunately, John and I haven't been creating music as the Armstrong Brothers Band for the last couple years, and we'd all but abandoned this YouTube channel. We started posting music videos in 2010. Our first video was a song I wrote called Astrological Girl. The video consisted of me standing in front of a broken fan stand with a microphone duct taped to it, playing my dad's electric guitar, while John played our new drum set we had saved for a whole year to buy. Rewatching that video now brings me back to my teenage years, listening to my dad's Beatles records over and over again, dreaming of turning into Paul McCartney. My siblings and I were homeschooled all the way from first through twelfth grade. If I finished my schoolwork early, I could retreat to the bedroom I shared with my brothers and work on Beatles, Neil Young, or Cat Stevens covers. I would record them into a portable voice note recorder, while I imagined playing in front of a screaming crowd like the Beatles on Ed Sullivan. I took note of the fact Paul and John wrote their own songs and determined that I would be a songwriter too. But with no audience, no one to play these songs in front of, I saw YouTube as the perfect platform to post songs on. I made John rehearse songs over and over, trying to make our recording sound like what I heard on Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band and Revolver. We improved slowly and received very little feedback on the videos we posted. In my opinion at the time, Rhett and Link produced the best videos on YouTube during their early days. At the Red House, where black people and white people buy furniture. And Hispanic people too. And all people. Their local commercials and comedy songs were so fresh and funny, they inspired John and I to improve our videos and to imitate their brand of musical comedy. And two taco salads for our senoritas. In 2012, when they challenged their viewers to cover their Thoughtful Guy song, John and I enlisted the help of our younger brother Kenny to help us get the attention of our YouTube heroes. Our dad is a videographer for a local TV station and he operated the camera using clever editing tricks to make our videos stand out among the many submissions in the contest. To our surprise, we won. In the aftermath of the contest, we gained a couple hundred subscribers and three pairs of mythical shoes. This success inspired us to write funny songs like the mythical shoe rap or the worst Christmas song of all time. For whatever reason, we never topped the success of the Thoughtful Guy cover. Over time, the comments section under our videos became emptier, the likes became less, the views decreased. I started working as a cameraman at a TV studio like my dad, and I didn't feel like making videos in my free time. John began to work on drawing and painting, and Kenny began learning to play guitar. Several videos made it to our channel here and there, but nothing as elaborate as previous videos from our YouTube glory days. John and I continued our occasional jam session, sometimes with Kenny joining us on bass or guitar. I still listen to the Beatles and occasionally slip into daydreams of rock stardom. I play guitar as often as possible and write songs when I can, but I miss YouTube. I miss sharing something with my brothers. I miss having something to point to and say, this is something unique I do. I want to do it again. I want to make videos with my family and friends and not worry anymore about how many views or likes received. I want to make videos I'm proud of that reflect who I am. Fame might not be the goal anymore. The self-satisfaction I found in writing songs and playing them with my brothers is reward enough. I want to thank anyone who left a kind comment on any of our videos. I don't think you realized how much those comments meant to me as a self-conscious, somewhat isolated teenager with rock star dreams. You made the future seem like it could be better, brighter, more colorful, full of rock and roll and family. And 
and I'll always be thankful for that. Here's to an even brighter future. Thanks. And now is the weather So happy together So happy together Na 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 So happy together